For this fifth week of Lent, the word I'd like to focus on is contrition. Now, we all know what contrition is. It's sorrow for my sins. I'm getting ready to go to confession or the sacrament of reconciliation. I need to have contrition. But contrition is a lot more than just what we think about in the sacrament of reconciliation. Contrition is a humble recognition of myself and those areas of my life that is in need of change. And contrition should be part of our daily routine, not just something we observe to a few times a year when I go to confession. Do I have true contrition for my sins? I think most of us do to some extent, but let's talk about those sins that are habitual. Those sins that we fall in again and again, like impatience or being judgmental or cursing. Those things that are little that maybe we've been doing for so long, and after all, everyone else does them, is it really that big of a deal? And that's a good indication that we've lost that virtue of contrition. Because contrition should be something we experience and remind ourselves of on a daily basis to acknowledge those little mistakes, those big mistakes, those sins, those areas in my life that need to change. Because I can't fool myself into thinking that it's not that big of a deal. Because that's when we get ourselves into trouble. That's why all of us, especially in these last days of Lent leading up to Holy Week, need to cultivate that contrition. Because after all, as the Lord died behind me in this image of the Pieta, reminds us those little sins add up. They paid, were part of the price he paid for our salvation. So as we get ready to enter into Holy Week during this fifth week of Lent, let's stir up that virtue of contrition in all of us. To daily acknowledge those areas where I've fallen, I've made a mistake, or I've messed up. And each day to take a moment to ask God for his forgiveness and his mercy and to cultivate that contrition in myself. Because it's only by acknowledging my sins that I can begin to change them. And that's why contrition is so important. It is contrition that leads us to repentance. It is repentance that leads us to change. And after all, that's the part of our journey as Christians that doesn't just happen during Lent, but needs to be part of our daily lives. So let us cultivate contrition in our own hearts and lives so that we can see those areas of our lives, big and small, that still need to be changed. And by God's grace and by the power of the Holy Spirit, may the contrition we feel for our sins lead us to that repentance and that change that this season of Lent is all about.